Hello guys, it's Lee here. Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to pick the best motherboard for GPU mining. So this is going to be like a two part uh, video. So the first part is I'm going to tell you what characteristics you need to be looking for to purchase your motherboard for GPU mining, exactly what you want to be looking for and what's going to be a really good fit for you. The second part of the video is my personal picks on which I think are good motherboards uh, from what's available out there at the moment or motherboards that I've had previous experience with. Okay, so first part is when you're looking for a motherboard for GPU mining, what should be the top priority for you is the overall uh, rig design and how exactly it's going to work for you. Number one priority for that should be efficiency. You want to be getting the very best in terms of performance from your actual mining rig. Uh, so you want to be getting the best performance and you want to be getting the best efficiency in terms of electricity usage. And also the best return on the capital that you're putting into the rig itself as well. So there's three things uh, that you want to be looking for. Focusing on the actual motherboard itself, you want to be considering exactly how many graphics cards you're going to be running on this uh, particular rig. For most people, it's going to be a combination of four, five, or six GPUs running on the actual motherboard itself. So when it comes to looking for motherboards, you need to find ones that have four, five, or six PCI Express connectors. Uh, one of the points that I want to make you aware of is that these PCI Express connectors, they don't all have to be full size 16 times PCI Express connectors. They can be any size PCI Express connectors. And most commonly you will find that the motherboards will have a one uh, 16 times connector followed up by other smaller one times connectors. So you can actually use a combination of PCI Express expansion ports for your graphics cards. They don't all have to be full size. If you look for all size, uh, sorry, the motherboards that are gonna be all full sized connectors, those motherboards are going to be really expensive and you really don't need to, to go for those. They're more designed for uh, gaming machines, but for mining, you really don't need uh, those. So look for motherboards that have as many PCI Express connectors as you can find. And like I said, it doesn't matter whether they're full size or the smaller one times PCI Express connectors. And there's quite a good selection out there uh, for motherboards that have four connectors. Um, but you want to be looking for the ones that have five and six connectors um, also. They're a little bit rarer, a little bit harder to find. But if you can find the ones with six connectors, that's going to allow you a little bit of expansion in the future if you're not building a six car GPU rig right out of the gate. So building a rig with uh, multiple PCI Express connectors, that is going to allow you to get multiple graphics cards on the board. And that's going to help boost up your efficiency for the overall system. Okay, so the next thing to consider when choosing a motherboard is the socket and the supported CPUs of the motherboard. You want to be looking for motherboards that support the lower end CPUs. So motherboards that support um, like Celeron processors or the budget AMD processors, they're the ones that you want to be focusing on. You want to be focusing on motherboards that support the cheapest and lowest power CPU processors. You don't need to be looking for multiples that are at the, you know, the opposite end and really going for the high performance CPUs. You want the lowest performance CPUs, the lowest price CPUs, and the lowest power CPUs. So look out for multiples that support that lower end um, range of processors. That's really important because it's gonna, once again, it's gonna give you the best efficiency from your mining rig. Okay, so the next point to consider for the multiple choice is the form factor. For most people, you're just going to be looking for a regular ATX motherboard and that will have all the features that you want. So like I say, if you're looking for ones that have up to six PCI Express connectors, you can find that in a ATX form factor. Also available is the extended ATX, but those motherboards generally tend to be more specialized for gaming or higher end systems and you probably won't find those at a reasonable uh, price. So mostly focus on just your regular ATX. Um, of course, if you are not so concerned about efficiency or the overall cost of the actual um, setup itself, 
um, you might be interested in setting up like a uh, a single or a multi uh, twin card miner in which case you can be looking at the mini ATX form factors as well but for the majority of people the form factor you want to be looking for is ATX that will give you uh, basically exactly what you need okay so the last point to consider when it comes to a motherboard choice is the price of the motherboard prices vary quite vastly or quite greatly uh, across the actual range of uh, motherboards you want to be looking from a price point of view between 50 and 70 pounds will get you a good motherboard that has all the features that you want and it will be a decent uh, brand as well such as asus asrock or gigabyte there's other brands as well but that's going to give you a good brand with all the features that you need you don't need to be buying crazy expensive uh, motherboards and there's really no reason to do so you're just blowing your capital and you're not going to get as much as a return if you do that so look for the boards that are the cheapest possible option once again this ties back into the overall efficiency and getting the best return on your investment into the building this rig okay so just to summarize exactly what you're looking for to choose a really good gpu mining motherboard you want to be looking for ones with the maximum number of PCI Express connectors, that will be ones that either have four, five or six PCI Express connectors. Number two is the supported CPUs of the actual motherboard. You want to be searching for ones that support the low end, budget, cheap CPUs. And the other point was mostly that's going to be in the ATX form factor, uh, your regular consumer sized uh, motherboards. And the other point was the actual price of the actual motherboards. You don't need to be buying really high-end gaming boards. Uh, stick to the lower end, and like I say, they should cost you in the region of about 50 to 70 pounds. Okay, so now we've covered all the characteristics that you need to be looking for when choosing your own motherboard. What we'll do now is I'll just move over to some slides, and these will be the motherboards that I have found online that are currently available, and these will be my personal best picks that I think are really good fits for GPU mining. So there's going to be about four or five boards and um, I'll go through those and I'll explain why I picked them and why I think they're a good choice for GPU mining. Okay, so I've scoured the internet and these are my personal best picks for the best motherboards for GPU mining. So the first one on our list is the ASRock H61 Pro BTC. So this is the motherboard that basically come out and wiped the floor or showed everyone else how to make a good motherboard for Bitcoin mining or specifically GPU mining. Uh, back then, um, this motherboard is actually a few years old and it was actually designed for Bitcoin slash Litecoin mining. Um, since then, it's put a few years on, so it is a little bit aged, uh, this motherboard itself. You might not be able to find them new, probably more likely you'll be able to find only a used one. So search around for used hardware stores or eBay is probably a good option for you. It comes in around about £40 um, from what I've seen uh, used. The motherboard has one full size 16x PCI Express port and five 1x PCI Express expansion ports. It's got an Intel H61 chipset. The motherboard supports socket 1155, so that covers a broad range of Intel CPUs. Probably the best options for it on the CPU basis will probably be like a dual core Celeron, something like that would be a good match with this board. Okay, next up we have the ASRock H81 Pro BTC. So this is a updated and revised version of the previous board I've just mentioned, the H61. It's virtually identical barring a updated socket and updated uh, chipset. So firstly, this is uh, easily available um, new from eBay, Amazon and other online uh, retailers. You're looking about 60 pounds for this board. As before, it has one full sized 16 times PCI Express slot and five one times PCI Express slots. Uh, as already mentioned, it's the Intel H81 chipset, but this one supports socket 1150s CPUs. Okay, so this motherboard is probably going to be the one that a lot of people are going to be going for. 
it's one that is priced right, readily available. It has all the features that you would want. Um, so this one is probably gonna be the best motherboard for most people, I would expect. Next up, we have the ASRock B85 Anniversary. I decided to include this one uh, because it's very similar to the previous two motherboards. In fact, the uh, ASRock H81 Pro BTC, this motherboard is almost identical to each other. Uh, the only difference between the two really is the styling and the B85 has extra memory capacity, so it has an extra two DIMM slots and it also has an extra two serial ATA connections. Um, but other than that, it's very, very similar. So the ASRock B85 Anniversary comes in around about £60. It has one full-size 16x PCI Express slot and also five 1x PCI Express slots as well. Uh, the chipset is the Intel B85 and this one also supports socket 1150 CPUs. Uh, as before, it covers a wide range of Intel processors and you're probably going to be wanting to go for one of the lower end Celeron or perhaps i3 processors you can see those um, cheap as well as. Okay this one is the Gigabyte F2A88X D3H. It was actually really difficult to find a good AMD board for GPU mining. Um, this particular board is the one I actually have in my twin 280X system. So I'm very familiar with this motherboard itself. Um, but like I say, trying to find good AMD boards with um, an array of expansion ports, uh, PCI Express expansion ports is actually really quite tricky. Um, they are out there, but you do have to look around for them and they are a little bit trickier um, to find. Um, sometimes they can also be priced a little bit more um, as well as. Um, but this is the one that I sort of uh, found, um, one that I've also personally used and, and one that I'm uh, recommending, it's a really good board. So the price comes in at starting level at about £65, but the price in this uh, did vary quite a bit. Um, I see them up to as much as about £85, so really expect £65 is probably going to be your baseline um, cost. Uh, with this board, it supports two full-size 16x PCI Express connectors and three one times PCI Express connectors. So all the other boards up until this point have all had six PCI Express expansion ports and this one has just a five. Um, so take note of that, you're losing one expansion port um, even though you're paying a little bit of a premium on the price. Uh, the chipset is the AMD A88X and it supports FM2 processors. Um, in one of my systems, I've used the A10-7700K which is a actually slightly higher end processor, but you can use the A4-4000 Trinity processors um, in this and they are uh, really quite cheap. You should be looking about 20, 25 pounds just for the processor. So this motherboard and a cheap processor combination um, can work really well together. Okay, so this last one is actually a bit of a wild card. I kind of um, discovered it almost by chance, really just looking for my own personal needs, just literally in the last um, day or two. So I had some older components, uh, specifically I had a old 775 um, CPU. A, I've actually got a few, two of them. One is a Celeron uh, E5300 and that's a socket 775 processor. I also had some extra DDR2 RAM as well as. So this is like I say, it's a wild card and if you're on a really tight budget or you're considering maybe using used parts to put a mining rig together, this will probably be a really good match for you. So this is the Asus P5N32-E SLI. The main feature of this particular board is, um, I've picked the actual Asus one just to sort of share with you in this example, but it, the motherboard has the NVIDIA 680i chipset and this chipset is a really good uh, chipset, it's really designed for gamers. So you can find this motherboard in various branded options. So they come in Gigabyte, EVGA, and also XFX was another one that I see. Um, and they all look like really good motherboards and all had basically the same set of features. So with this Asus one, it has three full-size 16x Express PCI Express ports and two one times PCI Express ports. So that gives you a total of five to work with, which is uh, quite a nice uh, combination. 
Like I said, the chipset is the NVIDIA 618, and that's really designed for gamers, so you're going to get actually pretty good performance out of this board, even though it is quite old. Uh, because it is old, the actual uh, socket is a Intel 775. Um, as with the other sockets uh, from the Intel range, it does provide a wide range of uh, CPUs that you can use, uh, but the best ones would be probably the lower end Celerons, the E5300, uh, for example, would be a, a good option. Um, to use with this one so this one is just like an outlier but i thought i'd include it because i probably might be picking one up soon and combining it with some older parts okay so that just about wraps it up for this video hopefully you've uh, learned something and you've uh, enjoyed watching this was me sharing with you what i thought would make an excellent uh, motherboard for gpu mining so hopefully you found this information useful um, if you have any questions or comments, um, please leave those in the comments box below. If you've got any other ideas on which you think makes a for a good GPU mining motherboard, um, include that in the comments as well. I'd love to see what you guys are using and how you're using the actual hardware, what's working well for you and all that kind of stuff. So thanks for watching. Till next time, take care.